Welcome back into this week's edition of Maverick Insider. I'm Rob Clark, joined alongside Minnesota State head football coach Todd Hoffner. Coach, it's a 4-0 start for the Mavericks. Biggest test of the season coming up, though, here against Bemidji State. How does this team really stack up against the Beavers? Well, I think it's all about comparing ourselves to the standards that we have for ourselves. And we talk about resistance, how strong the resistance is going to be. And I think you hit the nail on the head. This is the best Bemidji team that I've seen since I've been here uh, since 2008. So seen a lot of really good teams out of Bemidji. And this is definitely the best one that I've seen. Defensively, when you try to game plan for all the things that Brandon Alt is able to do, how do you try to go about slowing him down and how key is it to you know maybe force a turnover to up there in Bemidji well I mean they're really balanced this year they're doing a really good job of trying to run the ball more which I think is important for them right for us it's about trying to stop the run it's about trying to minimize the pass you know you got to keep things in front of you um, we have to tackle better I think that's one thing that's really important so coach Taylor and the rest of the defensive staff got their hands full and trying to put our players in a position to make plays right and that's what it's ultimately all about is who can put their best players in the best position to make the best players and Mr. Alt is nothing short of exceptional when it comes to quarterback play so you know you can't argue with his talents his skill set you know and then McGath that backup quarterback and his ability to run the football and also throw if he has to is also a nice dual threat type of quarterback so they definitely have some quality when it comes to their offensive weapons in addition to receivers running backs line you name it they're they're definitely loaded for bear chet anderson stadium how hostile of an environment is that venue no, it's very hostile. We were up there a few years back for homecoming, and last year we played them in the first game right at their place. So we've been there a lot, and, you know, the schedulers are definitely putting us up against it and going back there time and time and time again. And it's tough to go into somebody's house and win, let alone try and win, you know, three times in a row, whatever it may be. But, you know, it's a tough, tough place, right? Uh, Bemidji does a really nice job of promoting their homecoming. They definitely will pack the stands, right, early in the season like this, mid-season homecoming. It's going to be electric. It's going to be an electric venue. And as a football player, that's all you really want is you want to play football in front of people who appreciate that you play football and people care about what you're doing. Last question for you, Coach. How do you like where this team has progressed from week one to now heading into week five? I think we've progressed in some areas, and I think we've digressed in others. So, you know, we're, we're only as good as our next snap, and we have to stay on point, right? We have to stay on task, right? We have to stay on schedule. Those things are all important for us to be able to succeed in a hostile environment against a great football team. So when it comes to our progress, right, um, we'll get a chance to take a look at it on Sunday. But in the meantime, you know, we're going to keep chipping away at the stone, keep trying to get better. And we have to prove that we're a better football team between 2 and 5 o'clock. And in the process, we need to plan and prepare, and hopefully we'll prosper. Mavericks take on Bemidji State at 2 o'clock at the Chet up in Bemidji, Minnesota. Be there. Thanks so much for joining us on this week's edition of Maverick Insider.